you soon, Sam? Okay. Oh no! That's so pretty! Close gates, people! Hey y'all, good morning. I'm Amy. Welcome back to the farm. I am so glad you stopped by. So, today I'm going to be taking y'all around. We're going to check on the new animals. We're going to see how the little chickies are doing. Um, we're going to check on Miss Cricket and see if I can't, you know, pet her this morning. I'm not sure where she's at right now. I saw her earlier, but I'm looking out over the fields and I don't see them anywhere. They may be up close by the gate back here behind the barns. That would be very fortunate. We're gonna to try to go over there in a minute and see. Uh, but first we're gonna feed up some animals. I had a piglet with a hurt foot yesterday. I've been treating him. I'm gonna check on him this morning. We're gonna see how he's doing. And then we're just gonna see where this day takes us. So let's go. So I give her extra because I get put this a little bit in the piglets in the bowl for the piglets because you know they're old enough now and they want to start eating but my chickens prefer her feed to their feed so they get fed first but they don't want their food they want peaches food so they hang out and they they try to take her stuff so I give her a little extra and then I try to guard her food for a little while, not let them eat a whole lot. But y'all, when you've got chickens that aren't put up, they can be a pain. They can be a pain. Chickens, y'all go on. Let the babies eat. Oh gosh. Y'all get a kick out of this one. <laughs> so 
so normally in the past what I've done is when I've had a chicken that hatched out chicks I would keep them in a situation like this for a little while and then I would move them into one of my my closed-in chicken coop which is a much bigger space Elmo stop that why you gotta be a stinker sometimes um and so the area that I used as a chicken coop is not available right now hi there Lillian it's so ugly but you're so cute <laughs> okay um so here you go can I see another one this one let me show you y'all they're starting to get their feathers so fast and I, I don't want anything to get out. This, and this, is, this is a rabbit cage, so it's not ideal for catching chicks without letting them out. Okay, y'all. Okay, remember I told you that in that pen I had a Polish, had a golden laced, silver laced, blue. And the, the daddy was a blue. Okay, so you see this pretty one here? Which the the poof on top when they're brand new babies if it's perfectly round female if it's goblet shaped male and this one i can't quite tell i'm thinking this one looks more round to me i'm thinking this is a female the other two look like males to me i can show you in a minute if you want to see what i mean but this one her feathers at the moment are coming in without color so like oh gosh I left the gate open and the pigs are in the goat area hang on do you know how hard it is to get a pig a huge 150 pound pig or so out of an area they want to be in when they've already eaten so they're not hungry okay Anyway, okay, all right. Close gates, people, close gates. I thought it was just gonna be quick and I wasn't. What am I hearing? I hear something. Anyway, okay. I'm pretty sure I was talking about the feathers on that chick um, being, being no color to them, just like white cream color. Um, so we'll see what happens with what we have so far. It'll be interesting. I when I when I hatch out mixed chicks, it's always so exciting because you don't know what you're gonna get and you don't know what they're gonna grow up to be like. So anyway, um I was just gonna show y'all real quick. I'm sorry, pickles. I know y'all are in bed. Y'all are y'all are you gotta go to sleeping. Where's one of them? Come here. All right, I'm <clears throat> just gonna show you the poof real quick. So on this fella, which I think is a fella, can you see the slant before you get to the poof right there? So that you have kind of like a, more of a, of a goblet looking shape and it's not as rounded and big, it's kind of like that. I wonder if I could do the comparison side by side. See, I say that, but then can you see what I mean? The large poof and more rounded versus the flatter on the front. Can you see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking female, male. I did this when I had his mom and daddy, and it was accurate. The one I thought was male was male, and the one I thought was female was female. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, I think both my little blue Polish in there are males, and then the the Polish that's that's cream or white, whatever she'll be, I think is a female. So I always get more roosters than not. That's just how it goes for me. But anyway, okay, moving on. Yeah. Do, 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 do.
catch pen area. All right, little Miss Cricket is back there with Mama and whoa, whoa, hello there. You're, you're a big one. You're a big one. Okay, let's, let's see. We're not getting up to that fence. Look, there she is. Hi, baby. Hello. You're so pretty. That front sock with like the gray and the black. What is that? Like, that's so different. I don't think it, we've had any donkeys with like black on them like that. What do you think, Raja? Raja! 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 Whatever, that's fine. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Oh, she's gonna lay down, okay. Okay, I forgot that I mentioned to y'all that um, there was an injured piglet yesterday that I had to check on. This little guy here is spookly. Um, he, his little, he got a little like split in his little, little hoof yesterday and, um, I got it all cleaned up and I put blue coat on it and he's, he's eating normal. He's playing normal. He has a little bit of a limp. Um, this morning he's still limping a little bit, but every other thing is fine. So. We're good. All right, and now I'm going to, where did I put my bucket? Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna feed the other pigs. My husband helped his cousin uh, butcher a pig here, and it was his first uh, set. Of, he's got three actually that they're kun kunis, um, and he's gonna do them here. And we did it last night, and I say we, they did it last night, and he's letting me have the lard or the he's letting me have the fat to render for lard. So. Let me know if y'all want to see how I do that. I can show you. I actually have a blog post on that. So, if you want to know how to do it, but don't care about seeing a whole video about it, um, there's a blog post about that. Um, I got to go turn the water hose on because the hose, we had... The Amazon guy ran over our hose way down here, turning around, ran over right at the connection, and and now it leaks really bad, so I have to turn it on and off. Typically, Cooney Coonies don't root. That's just not one of their things. However, my boy Luigi, when he is hungry, or when he's impatient and waiting, he roots. Like you see this, this here, the little holes and stuff? You won't see any of that over there. But this guy, he's gonna do it now. 
Can you see him? He will... Do a dirt cover face. He doesn't yell about it. He doesn't say, feed me, feed me. He just starts rooting. That's just what he does when he, when he wants something. When he wants food, when he wants food, or when there's a pig in heat and he wants to get into that side. He doesn't yell, he doesn't lift fences, he doesn't do any of that stuff. He'll either stand up on the fence and talk to me, or he'll root. Like that. Watch out, dude. Okay, let's get him fed. Sometimes he gets their bowls full of stuff. This, we have to empty it out, don't we? Yes, we do. One of these days, I'm going to get them a trough built. these 10 whistling ducks that have lived on this pond for a good bit of time now and I have to sit here and let the ducks finish their food because these guys will come up even though they're like half the size of my ducks run them off and take their food which is fine I don't mind sitting here for a minute but I come out here this morning and there's the tin, and then there's four more. Can y'all see them? Are y'all finished now? All right, they're all done. As you can probably tell, Samson, put that off. Samson, put that off. As you can probably tell, I'm dressed differently, and this is a whole nother day. Because, y'all, Annabelle, please. I got busy doing stuff yesterday. You right? And, uh, I forgot to finish my video. So. You're going to be with me, we're in, and we're going to do it today. We're going to end this video the next day, because that's fine. I thought, I was like, well, maybe I should just, like, redo the whole thing. I'm not redoing the whole thing. It doesn't even matter. So, I'm fixing this because what happened was yesterday, as you're aware, peaches managed to get into this other side and she wanted to be there and so because she got into the other side and she liked being in the other side today while I was gone for part of the day she did just that she busted through this cattle panel Brian already fixed that part and then she busted down this through the wire and she just got herself in the other side. The piglets didn't get over there, but she got over there and she, uh, she just destroyed a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And busted things and that side's not pig proof, y'all. It's not pig proof. And uh, so she just had a grand old time. Yes, she did. So, 
now he reinforced the fence and I'm putting this back up so piglets don't get through and um, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. I know. All right, y'all. I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Yes, I am. I am going to be actually filming another video here shortly. Um, when the sun starts to go down and it starts to get a little cooler, y'all, yes, we're in the middle of November here and it's in the 80s today, which is great. I am not complaining about that at all. I love summertime. I love warm weather. But y'all, when it's the holiday season, it's nice when it feels like the holiday season. But the fact that Florida gets these breaks in between cold fronts, that's really nice. And I do really appreciate that. But um, anyway, when it gets cooler, Brian and his cousin are going to be butchering another one of the pigs that I was telling you about yesterday. Um, and so I'm going to be making a video on that. So the next video that comes out will be on butchering a Cooney Cooney pig. So just want to let y'all know that that is what is coming um i know there's a lot of people who would want to wouldn't want to see that so if you don't want to see that i will have you know i will have it posted that that is what it is and if you are uncomfortable with seeing that then just skip that one but anyway we're gonna call it a day for this video come here annabelle come here come here come here come here Let's see your let's see your pretty face real fast. Can you say, y'all? Do you hear that? I don't think you hear that in the background. Those whistling ducks are so loud. It says it's your baby. Oh goodness, she says no, Mama. I don't want detention right now. I don't want detention. I just want to eat my hay. Just want to eat my hay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me yesterday and today. And until next time, keep on the sunny side.